Hey loves, I have a late night message for someone. Um, I already did this video three times. It will it would not upload. It's currently twelve fifty one. Someone is coming towards you. You don't see it. This person has been trying to subtly, subtle, subtle, subtly communicate with you in the subtle realm of the telepathic and energetic world. Blur, thank you. Something is at a blur. You're not getting it. This is someone that has been trying to communicate with you <clears throat> about their life. But there is an offer that's coming. It's going to catch you by surprise. It just is. This person got something going on. But um, it, it, it may not be this whole third party thing. It seems like for somebody, it's something they had to heal uh, some, something that was going on personally with them. Excuse me. He said family matter matters or a major family matter. He's got the belt all of a sudden. Um, send me the pictures of the, of the black men, y'all. Uh, this is a message. This is, this is a specific love message. And for some of you all, this is a reconciliation. Someone that wants to reconcile with you. You're not going to see it coming. Mm -mm, you don't. You don't see this coming. You have a hard time following your intuition about this person um, or the situation. Slowly but surely getting ahead. This could be a situation that's taking a little time. This could be a person that um, has to get ahead of something. <clears throat> My throat has been fine all day. All night. It feels like a hairball is in here. Yeah, a wish granted. You just don't see it. You just don't see it. The omen that I kept getting, my shirt kept falling down. It, I lost, you know, a little weight, but the shirt, it, it just, every, everything just went haywire in three videos. I'm going to try it one more time. Um, let's see. Take your love vitamin. Take your love vitamin. All right, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Who's coming towards the collector? What the ain't? It's going to be some good news. Honor and respect will come to you. Somebody that honors you and respects you. This, this, is, this is a secret. It's going to be a secret surprise or something. You will receive a gift. This is somebody who's going to give you something. It could take up until July for some of you all. Ear. Good news is coming. Some of you all, here's the month of June. It could happen in June. This could also be a vacation, a surprise vacation. Someone is planning for you. In the first spread, excuse me, in the, the last and the third spread, in the third spread, uh, the high priestess showed up three times. Yep. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and for Listen. Thank you. Some of you all, you because this per there was a lot of spiritual warfare going on. Something is trying to make you delusional or make you confused or make you completely walk away. I hear forfeit. Someone is trying to make you forfeit a very promising career for some of you all because the career cards came out with the money, or it could be your purpose also that could bring you a lot of money. But someone is trying to make you forfeit something especially a relationship, be careful because there's spiritual, a lot of spiritual warfare around a situation, a relationship, some circumstances. So, you know, if it's, you know, something in your career, something in your uh, North Node, your purpose, something in a relationship, something in family, everybody's on different levels and schedule. Just be discerning. There's a delusional energy that someone is trying to keep stuck and I hear crowned, crowned over your head. So there could many, be many things over your crown chakra that's preventing you from seeing things clearly and precisely. All right, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know about the person coming towards them? Yep, the world card. This could be someone that you all meet on the internet. It could be someone from across the world. Um, this could be someone that you're get. You're definitely going to start a new cycle with this person. This is someone here um, that could have had a realization, but this tower that they had, they they could have also broken up with someone. All right, Holy Spirit. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Will of Fortune, and the Page of Wands. Now, straight out the deck. 
I'm going to tell you right now, this person could be married, male or female. This could be someone that's going through a divorce, going through a breakup. Doesn't have to be, with the, but that aspect is here. Others of you all, I see someone that is being very strategic. And something is trying to make someone forfeit their destiny, forfeit a relationship. I hear the word abandon, abandon. I hear abandon mission. Some of y'all need to go up a level in your prayer life, uh, in your meditation, because you got something around you trying to confuse you. This Knight of Wands is not just a player. This is someone that started a new journey. Somebody is headed in your direction. You just don't see it. Um, This could be a new relationship coming towards you where a person has started a new journey. It could be their spiritual awakening, them um, starting to see who they are. Now, in the aspect, this is a player. Those of you all, be mindful, be discerning. You know, a tiger does not change his or her stripes so see see a person for who they are all right holy spirit see the spiritual warfare something is trying to make you not see hell yeah mm -mm. the ten of wands the emperor and the empress i told you this is a specific message here you have love in your energy and it's going to be good love you bring good love to me. This person is going to bring you good love. But there is something going on in this person's life. Let's take a look at that real quick. That you may not know about. If it's not, this may not even be an old person for some of you all. This this could be a new love that you don't see. And the Holy Spirit is cycling this round, cycling this around into your life. The will of fortune shows us a specific prophetic time that it's time for you to have something. A marriage, a relationship, um, things of that nature. But... Why is the seven of swords here? Yep, somebody's going to block this person. The seven of wands, the queen of cups, the knight of uh, pentacles, six of pentacles, the four of wands. All right, period, point blank. For those of you all, whether you know this person or not, this is someone here that could have a relate, have had a relationship with someone, and the money they're having to pay this person is prohibiting them from making the moves they want to make towards you. Whether you know this person or not, somebody else, this is someone that could have something going on with their mom, um, that they're slowing them down. But this person right here was on a fast track and they had to slow down because someone knows that this person wants to offer you a relationship. Those of you all that are in that um, season, cycle or level of spiritual warfare, this is an attack on you and you need to know that every every battle is not a physical battle this seems as if it's spiritual just because of how the whole reading started out your wish is going to be granted you just don't see it somebody here is trying to stay out here below the radar holy spirit what's the will of fortune yep the eight of pentacles the emperor the justice card the fool card some of you all here are a, a, a legal situation is being prolonged whether it be a family that's all I need to hear was those sirens. This is somebody's spiritual message. S something in the sp spirit realm. You're going to have to go up another level. I even hit to the seventh heaven. You got to go high. Because some of y'all have warfare that's working against you and this person, this relationship, this connection. This is someone here that I don't know if there's no communication between the two of you all or you're, this person is trying to sneak. Something is going on in this person's life that's trying to block them, prohibit them from offering you what they want to have. Now, there are, um, there's an emperor and an empress here. You all aren't, you, you all aren't facing the same way. But this empress knows something from this emperor. Holy Spirit, show me what this what this empress needs to know. Show me what she he or she needs to know. Dang. Well, the last card is I heard OTW. This person is on the way. The hermit card. You need to withdraw. You also need to follow your intuition. Yeah, see, somebody, you you are. You are having a hard time following your intuition or trusting what you believe, what you feel, what you know. It's something the universe is going to make known very precise to you about this King of Cups here. You could be self-sabotaging or your connection. So be mindful in what you're saying, what you're doing, uh, whether this is someone old and old or new. I keep hearing spiritual warfare, period. This is a love offer that's coming towards you. It's a seven, the Seven of Swords also shows me a strategy. Some of you are also be secretive about your relationship. This is going to be something that's going to sneak up on you. It's going to surprise you. Angels, um, give them some help, please. I 
I see that movie, I think it's just right with Queen Latifah. I think that's common. When she was his basketball trainer, somebody here has that situation. Because this person is coming back. I hear they're coming. Signs from heaven is trying to be has tried to connect to you. Someone from heaven has been trying to let you know this. Honor your feelings. You your feelings and your mood could be all over. You're not sensing things. Your senses could be a little off. Um, I hear give from under the air vent also. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for blessings in my life. Something's about to bless you. But this, this is a warfare. Because I hear that song, This is War, over and over and over and over in my head. That gospel song, This is War. This is a spiritual war. Apprehended. Somebody here could have been apprehended. Jail. Eight of, eight of, eight of swords. Stuck. Trying to have a hard time moving on, um, moving on, moving forward. I hear Maya, I'll be moving on. Some some of you all here could be moving a little too quickly. You need to slow down, reassess things um, from a spiritual and physical level. There's some sort of sign, synchronicity, symbol, something that you're missing. Something something you're not getting because it's, it's coming to you in the, from the spirit world. Anything else you need to know? I ain't going to lie. Uh -uh. Break it down simple. Keep it simple for the... Mm -mm. Yep, joy and contentment, harmony and resolution. I believe that because that first spread, the last spread was had complete five five fives all around it. The five ones came out like four different times. I I used different decks. Harmony and resolution. I told you, romance and a connection. You can't see it, but it's coming. It's in your energy. It's strong. For some of you all, it could be closer than what you know. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn. Peace and blessing. Great day. I hope this helps. Look at that movie with Queen Latifah and that guy Common. Just Right or something like that. The, he was playing basketball. The, the universe is trying to show you something spiritual. I keep hearing this person has been slowing down. This person has been delayed. Somebody also is operating from a certain strategy. It's something they're trying to be slick about, whether it's to be slick and get to you or to be slick and get away from someone. But two segments are here. There has been a tower. So a breakdown, there's a tower right here. A breakdown, a breakup could be going on. And this is going to be a breakthrough, a major breakthrough for somebody. Peace and blessings. Great day. Take your love, vitamin. Email me your black man pictures. Namaste.